Hello, hello, and welcome to my show. Today on my show, Crook's Kitchen, I've got uh, these. Can you see? It's a muffin that I made with bananas and eggs and stuff. Honestly, I've never baked anything before. First thing I ever baked turned out well. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it and uh, enjoy. <laughs> All right, get ready for voiceovers for this video. Uh, here you have the ingredients. Maybe you want to pause and screenshot or maybe not. You could just click through the blog, but man, that did not turn out well format wise. Oh, well, let's get started. All right, well, looks like the first thing that we're gonna do is turn the oven on because if you're gonna bake, you probably have to do that. All right, I guess we'll see what's next here. Oh yeah, mashing bananas, just mashing and more banana mashing and more banana mashing and still mashing bananas and just, you know, mashing the bananas and man, I should be a professional banana masher. Sounds like fun. All right, anticipating what's next. Oh yeah, one slash half cup of coconut flour. See, I did that with my, my hands and fingers. Oh, spilling a little bit. Clearly I don't really care. Just gonna keep going. Baking's supposed to be a science, but you know, science is for scientists and I don't really consider myself a scientist most days, so that looks close enough, we'll go with that. All right, next thing we're gonna add, that looks like cinnamon to me. I hope it's not cayenne pepper. Yeah, that's definitely cinnamon. Uh, I think that's a tablespoon or so. Uh, again, clearly my scientist brain is doing a good job of measuring all of this as you see it spill over the sides. Uh, I think it'll work though. All right, now we're back to the wet stuff. Clearly my nonlinear brain on display here as we go back and forth between the bowls. Um, we're adding the almond butter to the bananas. Remember the bananas? Remember all that mashing we did? Uh, I applied to become a banana masher, but I still haven't heard back from banana mashing is, is us, are us. Uh, anyway, add that almond butter in there. Uh, I actually did measure out the almond butter, um, not super accurately, but you know, close enough. I suppose that's kind of the the theme of, with what we're doing here, close enough is, is good enough. But no, all jokes aside, I actually did measure out things pretty well. All right, what do we got next? Oh, we're counting with our hands again. One, two, three, public school, baby. All right, one egg I see. I'm guessing there's probably gonna be two more. Yep, there's number two. And no assumptions, but oh, gotta get some shell out first. Don't wanna eat that, apparently. I don't know, maybe there's, there's some still in there. You'll never know, I don't know either. And number three, that's right, that's the number we counted to. Nice work, Michael, nice work, woo! Okay, what's next? Oh yeah, back to that dry stuff. Um, cayenne, whatever cinnamon that is. Um, here we have a bag of some white powder. Uh, it's either baking soda or baking powder. Honestly, can't really tell you what either of those things are. Honestly, can't really tell you what either of those things do but the recipe calls for them and I went and got the, the bulk stuff at the co-op. So that's one of the two, powder or soda, your choice. They both look like powders to me, to be honest. Like, why do we have to make this so difficult? Um, there goes the other one. Again, powder or soda, your choice. And then I think we're gonna speed things up. Oh yeah, so uh, something I learned is you might wanna have a whisk if you wanna mix stuff. Uh, we don't actually have one at our house, Jess and I don't. So, you know, that's a conundrum in itself. Uh, a fork seemed to work. You'll notice here towards the end, there's a bunch of big clumps. I tried to press them out, but if we got a bite that wasn't the best, well, there wasn't any of those. They were all great, so. We all right, went. I think I speak for everyone when I say, this is what we've all been waiting for. Gonna use the giant spinning machine. It's good stuff, KitchenAid, look at that. Real quick, get it going, get it going, dig it. All right, so I was having so much fun spinning that I realized I forgot to add a couple ingredients. Uh, the first one there being coconut oil, uh, and the next one you'll see in a little bit. Um, at this point though, honestly, I, after that first one, the coconut oil, I was feeling pretty proud of myself. Like, hey, you know, I'm notorious for once in a while forgetting something, but I was smart and went back and added it in and just feeling great for all of four seconds before I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot something else. And that something was vanilla extract. Oh yeah, you see that little bottle, two ounces, 14 bucks. Yeah, so. Um, and I also know, because my sister has made brownies before with another extract and has completely messed them up by putting too much. So I actually didn't put the uh, full teaspoon they recommended because I just didn't trust it. Um, so here we are mixing again. You know, there's Jess. If you are watching this right now, drop in the comments, say hi Jess. Um, we're gonna speed things up here now. Pulling in those chocolate chips, which are 
the optional but not actually optional. If you don't add those, um, there's certain things about you that I may question, depending on your situation, obviously. Allergies and addictions aside. All right, now we're mixing in the flour, all that dry stuff that I mixed together. I hope I mixed it together well enough. I guess we'll have to see at the end how this all goes. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is start to fill up our little muffin cups. It's kind of fun. Um, still aren't there yet, I guess I decided I had to really just beat this one into the ground. All right, there's the muffin cups. I've been waiting for this moment um, since yesterday. All right, we start, you know, clearly not linear, starting in the middle one. Um, and then we're gonna really speed things up here, get them all going, get them all done. Um, you'll see with that, maybe that top second from the left one, uh, you don't wanna put that much in there. I learned this the hard way. You really don't wanna have that much, that much muffin mix inside one of the cups, otherwise it'll deflate and be a sad muffin. And we don't want sad muffins here. All right, I also had some extras, so we made some mini muffins for the children, AKA one child, the other child didn't like it because there was no actual sugar in it, but you know, what are you gonna do? It's 2020. And boom, just like that, magic. We've got ourselves some muffins. Can you believe it? I can't either. Well, enjoy. That's what I have for banana muffins. Uh, if you were able to follow along and get that all done in real time, congrats to you. I have no idea how you were capable of doing that. Uh, as you can see, I'm here at the office editing this video. So like I mentioned earlier in the, in the video, I believe, uh, during the, in, the ingredients, go down to the description here in this video, click on the blog. There you can see kind of what I wrote up. It's gonna have a, more of the directions on what to do and what to follow. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know, what is it that you wanna see me make? I love making these cooking videos, especially tailored to certain people, uh, not just my clients. So hope you all have a wonderful day and until next time, keep inspiring.